Good morning. Welcome to Tuesday on BBC One. Hello and welcome to Breakfast from BBC News with Sophie Raworth and Jeremy Bowen. It's six o'clock on Tuesday, October the 2nd. <laughs> Good morning, welcome to the programme. The headlines this morning, Tony Blair says time has run out for the Taliban to hand over the terrorists. In a hardline speech to the Labour Party conference, he'll tell delegates that military action is now inevitable. As refugees mass on the Afghanistan border, Britain's first humanitarian aid flight to the region is expected to leave Kent this afternoon. Officials have ruled out a public inquiry into the death of six-year-old Lauren Wright, who was killed by her stepmother and her father. This morning's main business news, America awaits a ninth interest rate cut, but can it save the economy? And in sport, Portsmouth say they would reluctantly allow Harry, Harry Redknapp to talk to Leicester about their managerial vacancy. So these are the latest developments in the campaign against global terrorism. Tony Blair is expected to tell delegates at the Labour conference that the Taliban regime is to be targeted because they've failed to surrender Osama bin Laden. President Bush is to authorise the reopening of Washington's Reagan National Airport, the only airport that remains closed in the wake of last month's attacks. The United States has deployed another aircraft carrier, the USS Kitty Hawk, in a growing military build-up. The first British humanitarian aid flight to Afghanistan has been delayed as government officials wait for clearance to land in Mashhad in Iran, close to the Afghan border. More on those stories right now with Moira. Good morning. The Prime Minister is expected to give the clearest sign yet that military action against Osama bin Laden and the Taliban regime is to go ahead. In his speech to the Labour Party conference in Brighton, Tony Blair will indicate that Taliban troops, weapons and supplies will be targeted. 